okay, so, what, so what's your what's your question? What's your contention? After life, man. You After any, life, uh, okay. How do we verify any truth? Somebody comes to you and they say this event is true. How do you verify that? The grammatical the, the structures. Are oh, you going? Okay. It's, it's sad that the guy just walked away. Uh, I wanted to get uh, a conversation with him, but maybe clearly the evidence was too heavy for him. <laughs> and then they deny the message, which is kufr, which is to conceal, to cover up, to hide the truth. That person on the day of judgment, we know that Allah says they will go to hell because they were convinced and they still denied. Sorry, I missed that. Where are they going? To hell. To hellfire. 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 Ah, where is that? I'll explain that to you in a minute. All right, okay, I'm very but, interested. But today I have perfected your religion for you and chose Islam as your religion. Well, I'm Islam. Alhamdulillah, right? Alhamdulillah. So, so do you want to do the Shahada with me, sister? I don't know how to do that. I'll do it with you. Come, I will do it with you. No, what do you don't believe in? What are you indifferent about? It's encyclopedia, it's just like facts and figures, yeah? No, what are you indifferent about is what I was asking. There's nothing to believe or disbelieve in that, yeah? That's just like movies, yeah? No, what you said you're indifferent about what, the statements. It makes no difference. Most of those people are dead. And death? They're all dead. No, what is it? I don't understand your point. Maybe. I think she might be that, I'm not sure. What does death have to do with the reality of what someone said? Well, it's just new, new order, man. New, new way forward, yeah? Is it? What's the way forward? You're dwelling in the past. What? What's, what's the way forward? Say what you mean, mean what you say. Is that, and is that a new thing? So what do you want to say about it? Go no, 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 I'm, ask, I'm asking you a question. Asking me, I'm, just, I'm just looking. Okay, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm just asking you a question. What are you looking for? You're I'm searching for something. No, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I, I, there's nothing here. I'm here, you've come here. I know, I'm interested. The speaker's so, I understand. So I'm yeah. asking you a question. You don't have to answer. You can there's say I don't want to say. There's nothing to say. There's you no, no comment. You, you can say it. Actually, <laughs> we want you to find the path. No, yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah, we're yeah, doing. What do you mean? It's like you're. What are you saying that? So what are you saying? We feel say that, that again. We feel that our search has come to. Are you from the board? Are you from the board? Uh, coming down to recruit human beings. Well, we're all on the same path. I don't know about board, Sorry? but uh, so what you mean? Which I'm not explaining that to you. You're talking about a path. What path is it? There's only one path to, to live and to die. To live and to die. I'm trying yeah, to explain. To, to live and to die. And you ask me a question, okay. and I'm trying to for you. I'm trying to explain. Yeah, but you, if you answer it for me, then you're having a conversation with yourself. It's only meaningful if you're going to have a, a, a conversation with Moth. We're on the same path. We're trying to have a conversation. You know it's better that we sort of have a nice discussion. You're on a, you're on a different path. We can, have, we can have a nice discussion and you can disagree and that's I can disagree, right. but that's fine. We can, we can part with it as friends, can't we? Okay. Yes? Is that all right? Yeah. Does that sound good? It sounds great. So as a Muslim, we feel that we have uh, been given a path that we have, many of us have verified to be the right path to give us the meaning of life, the meaning of death, yeah. and the afterlife and meaning to that as well. And so what we would like to do, which is what the Quran instructs us to do, is that part of the success of a human being is in uh, giving the good to people and forbidding the evil, something that is bad for them. So in other words, giving them good counsel, good advice. And the best advice and the best counsel for us is to inshallah invite people to Islam, which is a, which is which gives you a a, a beautiful life that safeguards you from many of the perils and the hardships of life, um, and gives you the chance of a, a, a good afterlife, which is paradise. A good afterlife. Do you know anyone who's come back to tell you what it's about? No. Uh, but do you base your opinion solely on a eyewitness testimony of an event before you accept it to be true? Well, if I bought, if I if I sold you a car, yes, you don't want to see it before you drive it. You want to give me the money first. I've yeah? actually bought okay. cars. Yeah, I've, I've bought cars like that. Have I've you? Bought, yes. oh, that's pretty faithful. Well, faithful. Not like you, <laughs> faithful, faithful, or. I weigh up the balance yeah. of probability. So for example, I'll give you an example. So if Mercedes, Mercedes a dealership are saying, if Mercedes dealership are saying to me, buy this car, it has full warranty. These are all the photographs, the specs and everything else. And I've driven that car before. I have no problem, I'll buy the car even online because I have a full warranty. I can have the car inspected. 
verified that it is in fact what they said it is, or I can get my money back, right? So the reality, so the, well, uh, with the certain certain, well, uh, if you buy, so, uh, so I bought sell cars as well. So if you go to Manham Auctions, for example, which you're probably, you're allowed 24 hours, right? No, 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 you, no, you raised it, you said something. Ah, but you, ah, but you said, ah, but you said something, assuming that I wouldn't know. But if you buy a car from Manham Auctions, for example, you have 24 hours to return the vehicle if there's any major faults in the vehicle or the, or the description was incorrect. So let's move to your next point. Oh, that depends on the law. Let, let's move to your next point. You're talking about Why are you drifting further and further back? Why do you come? Relaxing. I'm, I'm, I'm well, the crowd. I'm not the relax, crowd. I'm not the crowd. Relax, relax, relax oh, nearer. Oh, relax oh, nearer. Oh, don't worry, I don't bite. <laughs> okay, so, what, so what's, your, what's your question? What's your contention? After life. Man. After any, life, okay. Yeah. How do we verify any truth? Somebody comes to you and they say this event is true. How do you verify that? Well, there are certain logical ways that one could verify that. Number one, you would say, well, who is this individual that's telling me this? What's the, what, how do I verify? Are they a truthful person? Are they an honest person? Are they mentally sane? Are they, is, there, is there multiple testimony to an event, for example? So if there's more than one witness to something, so for example, let's say somebody says to me, a small aircraft had an engine failure and it landed on Park Lane. I never saw the event, okay? How do I verify whether something like that happened if there's no video footage? Well, I'll verify it because if I have multiple eyewitness testimony from teachers, doctors, lawyers, uh, road cleaners, you know, all different types of people in society, who all say that they saw that happening, on balance of probability, I would assume that it probably did happen. Is that is that fair, madam? I've acted out an actual train crash. Yes. I've acted out an actual train crash. Right. And this was just before the bomb went off in the bus. Right. And I was on the radio and went to phone up the show to say if you've ever been paid to act out. Yes. On London Transport. Yes, I found out. Yes. My name was taken off the telly straight away yes. and they scrubbed the thing. Oh dear, okay. Because so my point to you... It was active. Thank you, Bella. So okay. my point to you was that how do we verify any type of event from happening? Now, with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we have two main sources. I would say three main sources of information and evidence that when we corroborate together, we have a firm... Firm... Uh, uh, a conclusion in our minds that what yeah. the reality of an afterlife, angels existing, etc., etc. Now, what are those evidences? Number one, we have the testimony of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, himself, and we have revelation that he uh, is uh, transmitting to human beings, which has many uh, tests that one can apply to verify its authenticity that it is indeed from God Almighty. And then we have the companions many eyewitnesses and corroborating evidence and information to justify our belief in what we are told to believe. Well, and we have the character of Prophet Of course. So we have history, we have all sorts of different things. Yes. So now when we pull all that evidence together, on balance of probability, we realize very quickly, even as a non-Arab speaker, that this Qur'an could not have been the works of a man in a desert in the 7th century who was commonly known to be Ummi, unlettered, so he could not read or write. Okay, uh, we actually, when we investigate the Qur'an and we look at the Qur'an and the miraculous nature of the Qur'an, we are convinced, even as non-Arabs, that this book could not have come from a man in a desert in the 7th century, or any men. When we investigate the phenomena that the Quran raises about nature or about human beings and how they should reflect, we realize very quickly that this is not the works of a man in a desert in the seventh century. So what we conclude, as many have concluded, I'll give you one example, and I've raised this example many times, Professor Raymond Farin, an American uh, uh, professor who wanted to study classical Arabic. Nobody spoke to him about Islam Somebody simply suggested, why don't you have a look at the Qur'an because it is a classical form of Arabic. Upon studying the structures of the Qur'an, the grammatical the, the structures... Are oh, you going? Okay. 
he soon realized that actually this work could not have been constructed by any human being. And as a consequence, he accepted Islam without any dawah, without anybody coming to him. So as I say, when we piece together all these evidences, it becomes quite overwhelming. It's, it's sad that the guy just walked away. Uh, I wanted to get uh, a conversation with him, but maybe clearly the evidence was too heavy for him. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing that we need to remember is that, you know, there are people on the Day of Judgment who will have problems, major problems. One is the one who investigates Islam, for example, realizes that it is true, re comes to the realization that it is true, and then they deny the message, which is kufr, which is to conceal, to cover up, to hide the truth. That person on the Day of Judgment, we know that Allah says they will go to hell because they were convinced and they still denied. Sorry, I missed that. Where are they going? To hell. To hellfire. 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 Ah, oh, where is that? I'll explain that to you in a minute. All right, okay. I'm very but, interested. But, you know, we'll all find out when we die. Oh, okay. Now, the second person who is also in big trouble on the Day of Judgment is the one who lives in ghafla, carefree, doesn't care whether it's true or it's false, just wants to continue their life and be their own God, their own master. And that person is also in a great trial and a great tribulation and great trouble on the Day of Judgment. So to not even be interested of the reality of something is also a major problem and a major sin. And in Islam is punishable. But if somebody out of good faith, they are investigating and they don't find the truth, then for them, there might be a different test on the Day of Judgment. Allah is merciful, right? Allah does not want to punish people, but you can't live in ghafla, in ignorance and perpetual ignorance. And neither can you deny the truth when it reaches you, especially when you accept it. So we have people today who don't even want to enter into a conversation because they realize where it might go. And that's a shame, really. Now, your question, madam, you said, where is hellfire? Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of interested because I haven't read the Quran. Well, sister, why don't you come forward? What's your name? Anita. Please come forward. No, 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 I'm right here. You can say, I'd, I'd rather have a nice conversation with you. I absolutely refuse to move No problem. If you refuse, then the, I would respect your refusal. Okay. Okay. No, because I'm looking yes. at the Quran and I'm saying, okay, where is hellfire? Where does it fit in your Quran? Okay. I haven't read the Quran. Okay, no problem. I've read the Bible, but I, I don't do religion. I understand. I'm interested. I understand. Okay. So are you asking for the actual location or? Yeah, location Post and the actual meaning behind it. Okay, that's a very good question. Because everybody's got their own take. Yes. On hellfire. Yes. And I'm hoping that there isn't a ball that's yes. going to roll down from the sky. So what it is, our, our what it is, my sister, is that yeah. all we know mm -hmm. is the universe that we have. Yeah. Okay. What is outside of it, we have no knowledge of that. So it, it falls outside of our knowledge and our uh, realm of visual uh, understanding and visual, uh, uh, you know, expression. Yeah. Now, what it, hellfire is. Allah, Allah explains it in the Quran. Yeah. It is a blazing fire, a blazing flame. Okay. And Allah says that when Allah created hell, He sent. Allah created. Hell. Allah created hell. That's right. Yes. So when Allah created hell, yeah. Allah said to, to the angels, uh, to the angel, to the angel, to, to, to Jibreel, I think, that uh, see hellfire, and and then He said, by by Allah, anyone who knows of it, hears of it, will never enter it, never want to enter it. Then Allah filled it with pleasures of this world. Okay. You know, with all the ills of this world, temptations, temptations of this world. Uh -huh. And then Jibreel alayhi salam, Prophet Gabriel, uh, uh, Angel Gabriel said, yeah. by Allah, I fear that nobody will escape it. Okay. Because the humankind, knowing how human beings are. Yeah. Then he sh went to paradise. And then and Allah is obviously not in this sphere we're living. Of course, uh, so we don't say that this universe is paradise or has paradise. Yeah, yeah. We believe that Allah says on the day of judgment, we will fold up this universe and destroy it. So this is the creation. Which, which universe? This one. Yes, this universe. All right. So it's going to be. So we'll have the end of the world. Then. End of the world. End of the universe. They will. Oh, okay. Everything that is born must die. Right. Okay. Everything that is born must die. In fact, we believe even the angels will die. 
even the prophets will die, even Angel Gabriel will die, and then everyone will be resurrected. Only Allah. Have a time frame only like, no, we don't have exact no. time frames. No, no. no. Okay. no. But you see, see, my sister, the question here is this: yeah, cool. Why should we believe in hell? Okay. Why cool. should we believe in heaven? I'm listening. That's the point. Okay. Why should we believe that any of this is true? <laughs> because just because somebody oh. comes up with an interesting story doesn't oh. make it true. Exactly. So as human beings, it's hearsay. right? It could be hearsay. Mm-hmm. It could be wishful thinking. It could just be an imagination, or it yeah, could be a, a it could be somebody plot. insane just coming up with ideas, right? Exactly. Okay, so how do we verify something to give it the credence and the importance and the weight that is necessary to take it seriously? Right. So Allah says something very interesting in the Quran. Allah says, "Do, not, do they not ponder on this Quran? Do they not think about Don't it you think way? about this Quran as to where it's come from? Okay. Had it come from anyone other than your Lord?" Surely within it you would have found many errors and contradictions. Okay. When you go my, your Lord, are you going Allah or are you going Almighty? There is creator? only one Lord, there is only one Creator, there is only one God, there is only one Allah. They're all the same. Christ the King. Yeah. They're all the same. You accept. Sorry? You accept Christ the King is there. We, we believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is one of the mightiest messengers of God. Okay. But Allah says something very important in the Quran to us Muslims and to the people who would read the Quran. Do they not ponder on the similitude of Adam? We created Adam from neither mother nor father. In other words, Jesus is a miracle of Allah created without a father. But we created Adam without mother or father. Okay, so who would you say came first? Jesus or Allah? Well, we but Jesus or Allah? We believe, well, well, even the... In, in your Quran, because well, I've never read your Quran. Well, okay, so uh, we believe that Allah is, is, existed eternally and will exist eternally, post and pre-eternal. Within, within yourself? No, uh, we believe Allah always eternally. existed and will yeah. always exist. Okay. We believe mm-hmm. everything else, you brother, one second, Bro- brother, brother. You said eternally. Eternally. Oh, eternally. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear. Yeah, Not a problem. So uh, we believe everything else yeah. is creation. Right. We'll have a beginning and have an end. Okay. And it will be resurrected again if Allah so wishes. Okay. But Allah, we believe, is pre eternal, post eternal. So there's no beginning, no end. Right. Now, even within Christianity, right. the Father yeah. is regarded to be eternal, pre eternal, post eternal. Right. Now, some Christians say that Jesus is eternally begotten from the Father. But that as, simply means. As, me- as is written in the Bible. Right. But that, well, that's not the view of all Christians, by the way. No, no, no. But right. That's okay. What's now, when you beget, that is a fu- function of creating or coming from, passing on. Passing on. Okay. That function cannot be eternal. Okay. Because it requires the initial entity to exist before it can beget. So even amongst the Christians, it doesn't make sense to say eternal with Jesus. Okay. Okay. Now, as Muslims, we believe that to worship anything other than the Creator is blasphemy, is idolatry, and it's completely forbidden. We believe that none of the prophets did that, and we believe neither did Jesus do that. Right, okay. Because we believe, like, for example, in, and I'm not saying this actually happened, but the Bible does say in the Garden of Gethsemane, yeah. when Jesus prays to God Almighty, yeah. he puts his face onto the ground yeah. and he worships his Lord. Right. He prays He's to him. Above him of he pleads to him. If yeah. you can lift this cup from me, if you can relieve me from this turmoil, this tribulation, we believe that anything that prays to something cannot be God Almighty. Because that means that you are subservient, you are uh, under the law, you are under control, and you are reliant on the one that you pray to. So our concept, I believe, as Muslims, is actually closer to the core teachings we believe that all of the prophets had, which is that God is one, God is absolute, there are no partners to God, and God is pre and post eternal. He relies on nobody or nothing. And we don't have this concept, for example, of original sin. So we don't believe that a person can inherit the sin of his father because the Quran says no soul can bear the burden of another. 
You are responsible for your mistakes. You are responsible for your sins. And if you repent, Allah says, with sincerity, we will forgive you. Without the price of blood, without a sacrifice, without a killing of anyone, Allah out of his mercy, of his perfect mercy, only requires sincerity and the intention not to repeat the sin and a person feeling genuine guilt that I've done something wrong, Ya Allah, forgive me. This is enough for you to be forgiven. And Allah says, even if your sins stretch from the earth to the heavens and you turn to me with sincerity, I will forgive you. So this is the mercy in be a judgment after right. that. So this is the mercy in Islam. Yeah. My sister, what I find in Christianity yeah. is a transformation of a message, yeah. predominantly by Paul, which actually does not agree with, I believe, the core teachings of any of the prophets. So, for example, all of the prophets had a law yeah. that you had to abide by. You know, the, the, the covenant with Abraham was an eternal covenant, circumcision. Who are the people today who are circumcised? So Jews are circumcised. A very small minority, to be fair, a very small minority of Christians do circumcise. Yes, yes. Jesus was circumcised, and Muslims uphold to the covenant as well. We are circumcised, and this was a sign of the people who would be the true followers of the of the prophets. Okay, so we believe that we abide by those laws. Jesus never consumed ham, pork. The Muslims do not consume pork. Jesus bowed his head onto the ground. And in the Bible, there are some 20 or 30 references of other prophets putting their faces onto the ground and worshipping their Lord. We worship in the same way. So my sister, what you find is you find a continuation of a message that is true to the original message that all of the prophets gave. And we don't attribute partners with God. We do not worship Muhammad, peace be upon him. We do not worship Jesus, peace be upon him. We respect him, we revere him. We, in fact, have uh, sometimes talks in the masjid, in the mosque, about Moses, about Abraham, about Jesus, about Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. We revere them, we respect them, but we worship none of them. We worship none of them. Yeah, that's, the, that's the difference, sister. That's, that's what I believe. Mean. That's fantastic. So Thank you. let me ask you a question, sister. Go on. What stops you from accepting the last prophet? Because you accept all of the other prophets, right? You accept no, Abraham, accept, Noah, listen, Moses. Alhamdulillah. You know, we, we get on. We all get on. Alhamdulillah. It's a big family. Alhamdulillah. We're made up of, you know, Roman Catholic, Church of England. It's a big mix, mashallah. Atheists. Yeah, we all have an opinion. I understand. You know, so we worship no one. But what, what I'm asking you, my God. sister, is this. Why have you stopped at Jesus? Why don't you accept all of the prophets, including the oh, last? No, we, accept, we accept Allah as well. Alhamdulillah. You but know? what I'm saying is the prophets. Why don't yeah, you accept all of the prophets of God, including well, the last prophet? There are, there are too many. It doesn't matter. There are numerous. I there are thousands. One, as, as I hear about them, Alhamdulillah. obviously, because you, you're not born with the knowledge that you of know, course. every single prophet. Of course. In every single religion. Yes. I mean, as you drive past in transport, yes. you see a new church spring up. Yes. And you think, oh, they know about this religion, you know. <laughs> yes. So then you have a look online and you see if there is anything about it. Yes. If not, I come to you, yeah, yeah. this here, <laughs> and so, I have a so, listen. So you accept Muhammad that's about well, Of course, Muhammad yeah, of course. So, so sister, did you know, sister, did, did you know that to be a Muslim, do you know what the yeah. two things you must believe in? Yeah, go on. Fundamentally, of course, there are other beliefs that you must have as well. Mm -hmm. You must believe that Allah is the only one worthy of worship right. and that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. Anyone who believes that, by definition, is a Muslim. Of course, you have to accept the articles of faith, of such course, as yeah. you have to accept there all of the prophets. Of God, you have way. to accept all of the books that were revealed yeah. in, their, in their true original revelation. revelation. Right. So, the, so the original words of Jesus, which would be the Injil to us. So you would say that in the Quran you have mixtures of the books of Revelation as well as the odds and everything? No. No. What, we believe, own, what we believe no, is that Allah sent writing. down a revelation right. according to the needs of the society at the time. All right. Okay. So we believe, for example, we believe that Jesus was sent to Bani Israel, to the people right. of Israel. Right. Now, the Bible actually, funny enough, does say that as well. Okay. I have not come but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is saying, I've come to correct these Jews because their religion has now changed over time. Mm -hmm. 
and it's lost the true spirituality and connection to God yeah. and it's become a book of rules. Yeah. Now we believe that actually Jesus did probably say this. Yeah. That I've come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, we also do believe though, Allah, as the scriptures were changed and manipulated, as they were fabricated, yeah. that Allah sent down correction where people had made a mistake or they'd gone wrong. And so this is why we believe that Allah sent down Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the final messenger, as a seal of the prophets. And we believe that the last revelation, Allah says, in the Quran, today I have perfected your religion for you and chose Islam as your religion. Well, I'm Islam. Then. Alhamdulillah. Right? Alhamdulillah. So, so do you want to do the Shahada with me, sister? I don't know how to do that. I'll do it with you. Come, I will do it with you. So I'll do it in English first. Okay. I testify. I testify that there is none worthy of worship. That there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify that Muhammad. That Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. I'll say it to you in Arabic now, inshallah, very slowly. All right. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Al. Al. La. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Congratulations, my sister. Congratulations, my sister. Nice Sister, by the way, before you go, yeah. we have plenty of free literature. Okay. We have a sister's group. Okay. If you want to ask any questions, okay. we would be more than happy to support you and help you. So, uh, brothers and sisters, if you like that video, please click on this one, inshallah. Uh, inshallah, you'll enjoy it. Asalaamu Alaikum.